Um, there's the post box that we normally get to. So I did promise you something different today because we can get up to the 15 minutes. I'm going to try and turn the camera around so you can see what I'm going to see. So that should turn around. Now you can see the end of the road. Up until this point we've been coming to the post box, turning round and then just looping round in the estate. So today I did promise you something a bit more scenic. Uh, people have asked me to go left, so I'm going to go left. So as you can see it's quite a busy road ahead. And once we get through there it should go a bit quieter. We'll show you why in a moment. So this is a 15 minute walk now, so I can go seven and a half minutes and then turn around. So we're just coming up to the humpback bridge here and what we try to do is just walk to the top of the hump and look for a gap where I can get across and uh, there's no gap. It's a little bit busy. Looking behind, it's clear behind. So. I don't want to go into a sprint at the moment. Normally I would have gone in that gap, but uh, at the moment I've got to take it steady. We've got a car coming behind us now. So now I'm taking a chance. I'm going to over the road. So now we're going out into the wild. As you can see, more trees. If you look over there, those are the backs of the houses of the roads that we've walked up in previous videos. So now, uh, here's our little secret staircase. So hopefully this is where I don't fall into the canal. So there's our canal. This is the North Stratford Canal. Uh, we've got some ducks and ducklings. For those who like ducks and ducklings, I'll just show you those there so you can say hello. I'm sure we might see some more, so I can't uh, hang about, I've got my 15 minutes to do. So today we'll go this direction, under the road bridge. It's quite cool, I don't uh, know whether you can see the gnats there, so hopefully I don't get any bites. Uh, we've got the towpath this side, and what you've got over there you can see the backs of the houses on the road where we, we've walked up from our house. That's the road we've walked up uh, each day so far. And I'll show you where ours is. We'll actually go to the back of our house in a moment. Another couple of ducks down there for you duck lovers. So the towpath is not too bad. So I'll go down here to show you the scenic back gardens. I'm just making sure I don't stand in that muddy bit there. So sounds a bit country. We've got uh, magpies there, sparrows, uh, loads of birds flying around here. And that over there is our house. Uh, that's our platforms. Uh, Gunnera is uh, starting to sprout quite good. It looks like I need to cut the lawn, but uh, that will have to wait quite a bit of time at the moment. And uh, so we need to do a lot of work on there. So if anybody's got loads of spare wood, scaffolding boards, because uh, the decking is rotten, I've got to rebuild all that again. And this is where Major's Green Jack Sparrow lives. He's not in at the moment, but uh, Jolly Roger there, and this is all lit up at night. In fact, I might do a night walk one night so that uh, you can see it. So that's Martin, who you saw on uh, the first walk I did, who picked me up from the hospital. That's Martin's decking there, the Titanic. So, so this is our back garden. So now, let's see... I know exactly where. I did a practice walk uh, this morning just to see how far I could get in seven and a half minutes. A little sparrow just got in the hedge down there. And so now quite a few of the, the gardens have been done up around here with uh, 
extra buildings in the back garden and tidied up. So it's, it's a nice, nice place to live, right on the edge of the countryside. And uh, let's I'll show you more of this over the next couple of weeks because people have said they enjoy coming out with a, for a walk with me. So this you can actually see where you're going. And you see as you go further up our road, the actual gardens get a little bit shorter, um, but they're, they're all backing onto the canal. So it's uh, re really nice, especially in the summer. When you get the really hot days, then it's always a little bit cooler at the side of the canal. And I don't know if you can see right ahead, we can just see a drawbridge. So this is where the road goes over the canal. And uh, for people who are wondering, it's the North Stratford Canal. It connects Birmingham to Stratford-on-Avon. Oh, it's getting quite windy here, so I don't know what uh, the sound's going to be like. And then there's a few postage house houses, well, postage house gardens. Uh, that was a few back gardens of some houses that they uh, robbed a few years ago and built those houses. So now, I say, going from our little recce this morning, we're about seven minutes now and it's a shame it's not uh, smelly vision this because you can smell the food coming out of the pub and for people who don't know it any idea what this pub could be called what's that going over the river over the uh, canal there so there's a good chance now that you might find that this is called the drawbridge so, like I say, I'm not going in there for a drink today, but this actually comes at uh, my seven and a half minute point. So now this is where I have to turn around. This is as far as I get for the next couple of days. Well, today and tomorrow. Then we can venture further across. So that's my 15 minute walk. And you see they're all uh, happy sitting in the sun at the drawbridge pub and one day I think I might uh, do my walk to there sit down have something to eat something to drink and then do the other half after that so that's uh, less than a week after a heart bypass I'm out on the canal towpath got as far as the drawbridge and we got to go back now because my time is up I don't want to do any more than uh, I'm allocated. So ooh, I've actually got some uh, comments, I can read them. I'm going to stop and read so I don't fall in the canal. A bit windy here in Brum, watch you don't fall in. Yeah, I'm trying my best. Off. Yeah, have a good one Mike. So, uh, well zipper warriors stick together. So, uh, yeah, doing this walk, let's say tomorrow, what I'll probably do is go in a, a different direction and I might even do another video but now let's say we're just walking back following the same route and that'll be my 15 minutes and what I'll probably do now is an, another one a bit later because I'm allowed three as I said before I always go for the maximum so it's 10 to 15 minutes two to three times so I'll definitely be doing 15 minutes three times today and uh, I'd say so as I keep saying if the physios are watching I'm walking and talking so I'm not overdoing it I'm not going to push faster paces until I get to the last step on the physios plan so I'm going to turn this off now and uh, you can watch it later if it's there I've been quite lucky because it hasn't rained we've had a couple of showers today and uh, I think I'm going to be all right. So that's it. I'm going to switch it off and I can focus on not falling in if I can find the button. So perhaps do another one tomorrow and take you in a, a different direction. Okay, bye now.